boys and girls, here we go. This is going to be exciting. I'm absolutely curious to see how this all functions, but uh, today's video is going to be on my Nexus 6, and we're going to use the Nexus Retool Kit to completely restore this device, okay? So right now, just so you can see what I'm on, uh, this is a custom ROM, and it's called Pure Shamu, um, and Nexus 6, and it's a test key build right there. Um, and that's what I'm running. It does have root access. I do have an unlocked bootloader. I do have um, custom recovery installed. All that stuff is what I've got on right here. And we're running this cool custom ROM. Well, we're going to use the Nexus Root Toolkit to fully restore this thing back to stock. So to do that, um, I've already covered driver things, setting up your device. I'm going to go ahead and change this. Last thing I had plugged in was the Nexus 9. So I'm going to come in here really quickly and come in here like this. And then for build, I'm going to say custom round because that's what I was on. Lollipop, custom round. And hit apply. And it just tells me about setting up USB debugging, things we've already covered in previous videos. So just hit OK there. And it's going to relaunch the tool. And it should be set up. All right. So what we want to do is two things. So one is if you soft grip bricked your device and it's not booting correctly, you click this option. But since my device is on and running normally, you would click this option and either one is going to walk you through the steps to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit flash stock plus on root. All right. And it says this script is designed to help you restore your device back to stock and completely wipe your device. So this will totally wipe out everything on your device to do it this way. Um, you need to unlock first in order to run the script. So you have to have an unlock bootloader to do this. Obviously, if you're on a custom ROM or you're trying to return a stock, you probably have an unlocked bootloader anyway, so that's the point of the script. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And here what it does is it gives you some options. So one, you can download a image from Google all by itself, and you can click right here, and you can browse your computer and tell it what to download. Or you can click here, and it will automatically download and extract the images you need to do this process. So we're going to use that one. All right. When flashing this build, it is recommended you enable force flash mode. Force flash mode is not enabled. All right. Would you like to enable force flash mode? It's recommended. No. You can disable toolkit main menu, option main menu. Yes, enable force flash mode and continue or no continue without force flash mode. So force flash mode, I'm curious what this is. Let's go ahead and say yes to enable it. And it looks like it's gonna go ahead and download the factory image. So we'll let that thing download. This download's gonna take a while. I'll probably stop right here and let the download finish and then we'll pick it back up. All right, download is Complete it. It's going to go ahead and it's going to check the file to make sure that the download is good. And then it's going to go ahead and extract it. Yep, extracting factory image packages. Please be patient. And then it's going to flash stock. So from here, like I said, it is a very simple process. So let's go ahead and let this thing flash. Extraction complete. Initiating flash stock. So pretty sure you're going to see your device. Um, there you go. Reboot into bootloader mode right there. And from here, it's going to go ahead and do the flash. So it's going to check fast boot first. Yes, there it goes. And come on. It should flash bootloader first and then run through all the rest of the scripts. Okay, so here we go. This is good. This is good. We got a pop up. So flash stock will restore your device back to factory state. Um, make sure you're back, you back up any important data first. So if you do this, you're going to lose like everything. Your pictures, everything on your device is totally going to be wiped off 100% back to when you took it out of the box. So just be prepared for that. Um, while flashing stock, please be patient. Um, also, please disregard any message about SIG file missing. Force flash mode is currently enabled, so the script will not check for. All right, so force flash mode is very, very important to understand. When you use force flash mode, it does not check your bootloader. 
Um, it does not check your uh, device. It doesn't check anything on your device to make sure you're flashing the right thing to your device. So that is going to be the key with force flash. Where if you leave force flash off, um, it should go ahead and check all those things to make sure you're restoring the right firmware to your device. Okay. So with force flash on, it's um, it's ignoring this basically right here. If you turn it off, it's making sure you're doing the right stuff with this. Okay. It's basically the best way I can uh, describe it. Force flash makes it so you can flash whatever you want to your device, any firmware you desire. You could flash the Nexus 9 firmware there. It would, may not probably work right, but you could. So that's what we're um, doing with Force Flash. It just allows you to flash anything. So um, I already know this is the right, right stuff. So I know that I'm flashing the right firmware. But if you do enable Force Flash, make sure you have the correct firmware on your device. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, OK. And actually, it opened up a terminal right here, which is very cool. So we uh, flashed a uh, bootloader, and then we rebooted the device. And now it's going to go ahead and flash ooh, modems. It looks like all the modems flashed and rebooted the device. And now it's sending boot image, writing boot image, rebooting into bootloader again. Um, so this is interesting. It's actually sending each part, and every time it sends it, it's rebooting the bootloader. Which, I don't know why you would really need to do that every single time, but that's the way the script is set up. I may ask the developer why he's doing it that way. Um, so right here it's sending system, and going to go through that process. So it's just interesting that he's rebooting the bootloader every time. You can see it on the camera, that that is what is going on here. Um, system is the biggest image. It's going to take the longest. It might even have a couple different chunks. Uh, so be ready for that. Let's see how long it takes though to finish. So this is uh, one chunk, two chunks. It's flashed already. It's writing, or it, <clears throat> it's sent and it wrote. This is the third chunk. It's sending and then it's going to write. Now by doing this, you will maintain your unlocked bootloader, but you will any of your mods will be gone. If you disable the encryption, which you've seen in previous videos, that'll be encrypted again. Your device will be re-encrypted. So all that's going to get reset. All right, so this is sending now the fourth piece, the fourth piece of system and the last piece and rebooting into bootloader again. Again, it's checking it. Um, and now it's erasing user data. So it's doing a white data factor reset, which is part of the update script and it's writing user data and then I guess it's probably going to reboot the bootloader again and actually that time it's going to reboot the device so bootloader booting up your fresh flash stock device press any key to exit so I'm going to go ahead and do that on my computer and shabam little note here about it we're going to let this thing boot while I read this note to you uh, previously running a custom ROM auto detected uh, reports it was Shamu um, device assuming the operation you just performed was successful you should uh, change your model type in the uh, tool uh, to the new model so I'm gonna hit OK here and now I'm going up oh, it looks like it automatically did it it automatically put in the correct model now and just hit apply hit OK Sometimes it's possible the flash stock causes incorrect displays until storage. To fix this, be sure everything is good. Recommend to perform a factory reset once your device settings menu and go. So he's telling you you might want to do a factory reset. That's it. Um, if you want to lock your device as well, which you can, you can do OEM uh, lock with the toolkit. So if you want to totally get 100% back now, um, once the toolkit boots back up here, you can go ahead and click the OEM lock button and now you've relocked the bootloader as well. There you go. That's going to be how to restore stock on route. Just totally restore your device back to stock. Like I said, I'm not going to do the uh, relock button. Basically all that's going to do is relock the bootloader really quickly and You'll, you'll, be, you'll be running again. It doesn't create any wipes to do that. It just will relax the bootloader and it's locked. All right, so there you go. That's gonna be it for the toolkit. 
Here's my newly set up device. I just need to go through the settings and you're totally firmware restored or unbricked if you had an issue with your device. That's going to wrap it up for me on this video, video of flashing stock and unrooting. Please stay tuned for more videos on the Nexus Root Toolkit and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.